I can guarantee that the majority of people using large language models like ChatGPT, Claude, or Gemini, they are using it in the wrong way. In an effort to save time, they spend the majority of their time in that chat going back and forth with that AI and still they are not happy with the results at the end. This is especially critical if you're trying to run your online business with a small team or you are a one person setup. But if you're not using custom assistants like custom GPTs or Google Gemini's gems, you are really missing out. AI outputs are only as good as the input that we give them. So in this video, I'm gonna show you a smarter way to use AI assistants to customize your input so you can get that output that you want. In fact, this framework could save you up to 90% of your repetitive tasks that you do on a daily or weekly basis. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how I use Google Gemini Gems in order to help me with my repetitive tasks in my online business. I'm gonna show you how to get access to them, how to set them up, and what information to feed these custom assistants so you can get the output that you want. And this is all about how to build a system that works for you and not the other way around. So I'm gonna dive straight on over into my desktop. So here I am just inside Google, and if you just Google Google Gemini, it's gonna give you access to Google Gemini. It's a free tool, you can get the pro version but I'm just gonna open it up and it's just gonna open up into a new chat window for me. If you have not used this before, you will need to log in through your Google account, but there's a reason why I'm using Gemini over all of the other large language models is I'm gonna get good results and good feedback because it's owned by Google, it's owned by YouTube. So here you are inside the, the new window and all you need to do here is you can either go to new chat and these are gems you can explore gems or you've got some recent chat so if it's the first time here just click on explore gems now this is similar to custom gpts if you've used custom gpts before this is google's answer to that so it's just google gemini gems that's what they're called so you can either have a look at some of these pre-made by google these gems brainstorm career guide outreach specialist or you can actually just start your own. Now I've got a few down here, but I'm just gonna show you how to start your own. Now there's three main elements here. You need to give it a name, and it doesn't really matter what name you give it. You can give it a name that you will internally identify which gem it is. You can build out multiple gems, and then you're gonna give it some instructions, and then you're gonna feed it some knowledge. Now the instructions is really key how to deliver your prompts to this model. Now, I would really recommend you click on this little information and then click learn more. Now, this will help you on any large language models or any AI assistant just using this formula that Google actually recommend for you to use. So first of all, it's the persona. Tell the gem what role to play and how to respond. Then it's the task. Tell the gem what you want Gemini to do or create. And then it's the context provide as much background as possible. Now this is key, if you have more background, feed that gem more background and then the format. So be specific when specifying desired structure. So how do you want the outcome? Now make a note of this, copy this down because this is how I input all of my gems. So here you can also feed it some more documents. Say if you have a branding positioning statement or branding guidelines or a little bit about you and your business, if it is an online business, then these are the three areas that you should feed into it when saving a new gem. But I'm just gonna go back and I'm gonna show you exactly how I would use it to, let's say, go for YouTube description. Uh, here you can either share this with someone in your team or someone outside your team. Once you've created this gem, you can share it with them and then give them prompts to actually put in. You can edit this current gem or some options here, you can just start a new chat straight away. You can make a copy so you can build out your next gem from this template or you can delete it. But what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna go straight into YouTube description. So every week I produce a YouTube video, but in order to create the best possible YouTube description, I use this gem. So as you can see here, I've got persona, I've got task, I've got context, and then I've also got format. So I'm gonna walk you through how I did this in just a sec. But then knowledge here, I love this because you can just click 
add and then you can add files from your drive because this is the Google Drive. I use everything Google where possible. So I've got some brand guidelines and brand message. There's everything about me and my online business. So if you wanted to give this gem a little bit more knowledge that it's going to remember each time you use this gem so you're not starting from scratch, this is going to save you so much time. So the more documents you can input for the knowledge base here, the smarter this gem is going to be. So here for the persona then, I'm, I've just put you are a marketing copywriter and YouTube SEO specialist. Your tone should be knowledgeable, encouraging and slightly informal like a helpful mentor. You are writing an you're writing for aspiring entrepreneurs who feel overwhelmed by online business. That is my target market. Then the task for this gem itself, so create a keyword rich YouTube description. The primary goal is to drive clicks to the link in the description by highlighting the value of the call to action. So every week I create a YouTube video and I offer people if they are interested in the next step to click on the link in the description or around the video. That is a call to action to then go over to my website and get more information if they wanted to go deeper. Now typically with me these are either affiliate links or they are free opt-in products. So it won't really cost them anything more. And then the context, so I've just put, I will provide you with a main keyword because all of my videos are circulated around a main keyword. And then I've just put, you just have to ask me. So this is gonna start the conversation. I'll provide you with the video title and then I'll provide you with a full video transcript. So the format, if you have lots of different formats, you could upload them here for knowledge. Say here are the best practices of a YouTube description, but I want my YouTube description in a certain format format so just ask me for the call to action link that is to be promoted and then here's an example of the format to model your description on this is very important otherwise it's going to give you different formats each time you do it always start and end with the call to action link focus on being keyword rich related to the title and description so that is my my format that i want and then i've just copied i've gone to a youtube um, description that I've done manually and I've just copied it out here so it's got what they're going to learn if they watch the video and then I've got some hashtags, some timestamps and some links to actually go and watch my free opt-in product which is my workshop. And uh, top tip here, I've also put in some constraints so do not use uh, overly salesy or hype language Avoid making income guarantees. Do not mention any competitors by name and do not use any M dashes anywhere. So this is just my instructions in the same format that is uh, required or recommended writing great gem instructions. So I've gone and used that format and then I've put in my knowledge and then I've just titled it. So that is it. You can update it or save it and then you can either just start um, by typing in the description here or you can go back to exploring your gems if you wanted to save that one come back in at a later date but again I'm just going to go into this YouTube description and it's going to start a chat for me. So pretty much the first thing I, I say to uh, this chat is what do you need from me? That's how I start it off because I've asked it to ask me for the information for this specific gem. So it's asked me for four things, the main keyword, the video title, the full video transcript and the call to action link. So all I'm going to do here now is I'm going to go and get an example from one of my previously recorded videos just to show you what I do. So I'm inside my YouTube studio and this is a video that I have um, just produced last week. So if I wanted to create this video description, I would get the first of all the main keyword so here we are that's the main keyword and then I would say right to the video title so I will have done some keyword research around this title so I'm going to give it the main keyword research title obviously I have made a gem for creating the title as well and identifying the uh, main keyword but then the full video transcript what I then do is I, I go into languages and then edit subtitles and then when this is actually pulled through I'm just going to download uh, download subtitles and then when this is out I'm going to show in finder and then I'm going to open that with um, I'm going to open that with some text-based editor here so it's just a way so you can just copy copy all of that transcript and then go back into this and put it straight into here 
and then for the main call to action link I want this to be uh, running into my uh, free opt-in workshop so this is the call to action link so copy that in there and then hit paste and return so this is going to create a YouTube description of that video so the more information like the, the full transcript of that video I fed into this chat so it's going to synthesize that information read it and it's going to come up with these timestamps because I've given it that information in that timestamp now you don't have to use all of these timestamps sometimes I actually thin out a lot of these timestamps you could go back in and edit the gem to say only give me five timestamps eight timestamps however you want this to be built out but I do like to have my my call to action link above the fold so when it actually comes into YouTube it's above the fold and then I also like it down at the the footer as well so this is it shouldn't be the finished article this should be a starter for 10 in any of your content generation so as a reminder then into this gem I've fed into it the YouTube for the YouTube description the branding guidelines the brand message and in this instructions I've gone in and used this format in terms of persona task context and format so that's what I've done to get something like this and like I said, it, this shouldn't be the finished article. You should then go in and edit this however you see fit. Once you're happy with it, just paste it in. Um, for the end result here, this was my YouTube video description. And that is just one way to use Google Gemini Gems as a way of speeding things up so much that you're going to save 90% of your time just by using these custom AI assistants. And you can simply apply this strategy to anything that you find that you're repeating on a regular basis. So have a think about what information you're going to feed to that custom AI, what it needs. Just feed it in there once. Get those prompts in there in a smart way so that output is going to be as close as possible to the output that you want. And this is just one of the playbooks, one of the strategies that I use for my online business. If you want me to pull back the curtain and show you exactly how I've grown this one person business to a six figure online income, you can go ahead and watch my free online revenue workshop. Simply head to timpeekman.com forward slash workshop. It is a super actionable workshop. You can get instant access on demand take pen and paper with you, make notes and take action. I'm going to show you how to try and make your first $1,000 of online revenue. That link once more, timpeakman.com forward slash workshop. Hopefully you found value in this video and I'll see you on the very next one.